We ready, folks? I really like these webs. I really like these. There's also... This is like such good. I don't really know what part of the game this is. Obviously I haven't played Doom Eternal, but I really like this as a build in video game music it has every component you would want out of it it has like the paciness where we have this percussive paciness going on um but it still has enough slower elements that you're not feeling like the intensity is too high yet this is really cool there's some really cool panning happening here too that like noise feels like it's going in between your ears. Oh, I love this like, I really liked that build. I like this like really steady four they've got going on. It's just like clean drums. Again, there's a lot of really cool panning automation going on in between your ears. It is really dynamic. I think this kind of effect in game is really cool because it adds just that little bit of like, can be kind of disorienting. Ooh, symbols. This is really clean. These hits just here. I like that. I like this tempo a lot for gameplay as well. This is like, yeah, it would be a good tempo to work out to too. Um, yeah, I really like these drums and I really like their choices with pacing here. This feels like a, a pace musically that makes me feel like I could sustain gameplay for a long time, which I think is a really important thing to think about when you're composing for a game that you want people to want to spend hours playing. It's like in a good groove for me to just like zone into it. Thank you for the follow. Ooh, that was a really cool scrape. It felt like a metal sheet or something just in that transition. I really like these symbol fills. Ooh. That was a really cool choice. That kind of riser that leads to a full pullback, I think. Um, I'm gonna pause it here just so we can talk about this because this is really cool. I think often especially in a, in a track like this or a game like Doom, um, some of the hardest drops are when you drop to silence. That is such a cool effect. And I think um, especially you have to think about like 
the sonic uh, like the soundscape of your game like there's a lot going on in a game like doom and i like visually auditorily like there's just a lot to be considering in terms of like what's actually going to have the most impact musically is it going to be a drop into more things going on or is it going to be a full pullback so suddenly like you can hear all of these sound effect details that you couldn't hear before and you have this like jerk out of the zone that we had put you in with the groove right I just think it's a really cool conversation to be had about um soundscapes and games also world leader mike welcome in um really frame thank you for the follow and peregrine welcome in hi hi all right let's keep going i backed it up a bit Yeah, I like this build a lot. Again, there's like all of these effects that sound like sirens in Doom and I love it. Think about how many things... Hang on, I want that again. <laughs> but I was going to say, think about how many things were building there. There was like... Uh, a like that was ramping up in the back we had these like bigger siren noises coming in there's just like everything is just slowly stepping up it's so sick okay we need that drop again that they just like dropped us right into that That drop is surprising. I love when like there isn't a big build. It just like drops you. It just like the floor drops out from under you immediately. Especially when it's into kind of a groove and not like a big breakdown. Thank you for the follow. Ooh. Doom, but make it a little funky. Again, those symbols. Everything kind of opened up here. Taking, like dropping at the low end a little bit, like it just felt like the whole like sky opened up over you. Really cool effects. And some chanting. This is a really clean idea of a guitar line, too. It's like just what you would want from this kind of um, pullback section where you're kind of dropping the floor out from under you. You're just chanting.
Ooh, that was a really cool, very like electronic. Um, there's so much metallic shit in there in that like that little transition noise. I love this. I really like all of these kind of top end elements that are giving you all of this sharpness. We're really building. Ooh, okay. And this time it felt like we just dropped the high end off, right? Um, there's a lot of really interesting conversations to be had about like range during drops, right? Because that drop was just dropping into the groove and removing the high end. Um, and unfortunately, that is all I have of this track. The last two minutes were muted in the Twitch VOD, so I actually lost that footage. And I thought about re-recording the entire listen through, but didn't like the idea of losing the freshness of my initial reaction to it. So as always, thank you for sending all of the Doom Rex. I'm looking forward to the next track that I get to listen to from that one. And I've been learning a lot. Yeah, keep sending them. Mm -hmm.